now students let us start with the new chapter that is circles circles is very very important topic as far as the essay 2 examination is concerned so let us start and concentrate at the screen that take any point and draw line segments that are equidistant from the point here take any point and draw line segments that are equidistant from this point here this is the point we have taken and these all are the line segments we are drawn at the equidistant from the center so all these end points of this line segment are at equidistant from this center and if we join all these points then we find we get a circle and therefore the circle is nothing but the collection of all the points which are equidistant from the fixed point so all the points on this circle are at equal distance from this fixed point then this fixed point is called as the center then this fixed point is called as the center and the line segments which are at equidistant from this fixed point that is center to the point on the circle is called as the radius so this point this line segment will also be radius this line segment will also be a radius and the lengths of all these radii of the circle will be equal and here we see that since there are infinite number of points on the circle we can draw infinite number of radii to the given circle now friends take a line and this line is outside the circle and now this line does not intersect the given circle it means that the line and the circle have no common point and therefore we say that this line does not intersect the circle now take the another line now here you see that this line that intersect the circle at one point let that point be p it means this line is intersecting the one point of the circle and it means that there is only one common point between the line and the circle and such line is called as the tangent and this is the very important concept as far as the circles is concerned now see the another situation now this is the another line and you see that this line intersect the circle at this point as well as this point and therefore we say that this line intersects the circle in two points it means it has two common points between the circle and the line and therefore we can say that there are two common and different points between the line and the circle and then such line is called as the second so we can say that the second of a circle that intersects the circle in two distinct it means two different points so here 
we can summarize this as a line has only one common point with the circle and such line is called as a tangent to the circle and secondly we can say that a line which intersects a circle at two distinct points is called as the second of the circle. Now here we see that a line is said to be a tangent to a circle if intersects the circle at only one point. And second thing, this point of intersection of the tangent and the circle is called the point of contact. This is a circle and a tangent is drawn to the circle. And we have seen previously that a tangent intersects the circle in one point only. It means there is only one common point between a line and a circle. And this common point is called as the point of contact. So this common point is called as the point of contact. So two things you have to remember that a line is said to be a tangent to a circle if it intersects the circle at only one point. And secondly, the point of intersection of the tangent and the circle is called the point of contact. Now let us see three activities. Activity 1, Activity 2 and Activity 3. In the activity 1, draw a circle. Then take any point P on the circle. Then draw the lines passing through this point P. So this is the first line that I have drawn which is passing through the point P. This is the second line that is drawn which is passing through the point P. This is the third line that is passing through this point P and this is the fourth line that is passing through this point P. Here we see that this line intersects the circle in two distinct points. This line that intersects the given line, a given circle in two distinct points. This line also intersects the given circle in two distinct points. This is the only line that intersects the given line in only one point and so we can say that we can draw only one tangent to a circle at a given point. Of course there are infinite number of points on a circle. So we can draw infinite number of tangents to the circle. But from that point we can construct or we can draw only one tangent. Now take the activity 2. Draw a circle. Draw its second. Then draw different lines parallel to this second on both the sides of the second. Here we see that as we move away from the center, the length of the chord decreases. Here we see that as we move away from the center, the distance between the intersecting points, that is the length of the chord, is decreasing everywhere as we moving away from the center. To the other side also, if you see, the same thing is happening. As we are moving away from the center, the distance, I mean the length of the chord is decreasing. It means that 
the two points of intersection of the lines which circle come closer and closer so this point of intersection that are coming closer and closer as we are moving away from the center then a situation comes that the length of this chord becomes zero it means the two points of intersection coincide then there is one situation that these two points of intersection they come closer and closer and these two points intersect and this point of intersection is called as the point of contact between the tangent and the circle and this line is called as the tangent here we establish two facts that first a tangent is a second a tangent is nothing but a second when both the endpoints of the corresponding chord coincide when the endpoints of the corresponding chords that coincide we get a tangent and second point we can establish that a circle cannot have more than two tangents that are parallel to the given second to a given second suppose this is a given second to this given second we can draw only two parallel tangents and not more than two parallel tangents now let us see the third activity draw a circle then draw all the radii of the circle we cannot draw all the radii because there are infinite number of radii but try to draw the maximum number of radii you can then draw a tangent to a circle at this point then this will be the radius and this will be the tangent and this will be the point of contact then measure this angle then measure this angle and you will see that this angle is 90 degree then draw another tangent and measure the angle between the radius and the tangent draw another tangent measure the angle between the radius and the tangent draw another tangent and measure the radius between ra uh, uh, angle between radius and tangent and you will find that all these angles are of the measure 90 degree and we can say that the radius is always perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact here we can draw following conclusions from the activities that one and one only one tangent can be drawn at any point on a circle then second a tangent is a second when both the endpoints of the corresponding chord coincide then third a circle cannot have more than two tangents parallel to a given second and the fourth one is that the tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact. Students, here we will stop and in the next session we will see the theorem the tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact and the problems that are related to this theorem. Thank you very much.